In this video, I'm going to teach you how to respond to the question, what is your salary expectation? Yes, you guessed it. Yes, that question. The one you get during job interviews. Hello, Mr. Fuse. Oh, your CV is so good. Wow. So what is your salary expectation if we were to employ you in our company? I'm going to teach you how to give the perfect response to this question, okay? If you're interested in this content and you've been to this channel before, welcome. And if you're just new to this channel, why don't you think about going down and smashing the subscribe button. And while you're down there, you might want to think about turning on the notification bell because we drop this sort of content every Thursday. So you can catch our videos while they drop. And if you've been here before, you're new here, you like the layout of our channel, you like the kind of content we put out, why don't you think about giving us a thumbs up? It helps us a lot. It tells the YouTube algorithm that you like this video and they're going to inform us that people like you like this video and to make more of such content for people like you. Why don't you hold on to that thought? Why don't you hold on to your pen? Why don't you hold on to your pad, your wig, your purse, and I'll be right back with more. You know the way I do it when I drop lyrical. Anytime I spit lyrical, philosophical, all the niggas mimical, but they stare still on taking literal. Punch lines go lateral. Snag them on that Hello YouTube, hello Chronix. How are you, 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 you all doing today? So guys, it's still your boy Fuse on the Fuse Chronicles. I know that you, at some point in your life, you must have gone for a job interview. You must have been asked the question, what is your salary expectation if we were to hire you in this company? Irrespective of whatever country you might be living in or watching this video from, you could be in Nigeria like me, you could be in South Africa, you could be in Ghana, in Kenya, in Utopia, you could be in Mali, or you could be on the other side, you could be in Canada, you could be in the United States, you could be in the UK, you could be in the Philippines, it's the same. This question is global. Every workforce or every company looking to hire always asks the same question. What is your salary expectation? The problem is a lot of you guys goof. Goof means you all mess up when you get asked this question. Some people get emotional. Some other people get sentimental when they ask this question. People start to think about their last workplace, the last company they worked for. Oh, I was in charge of this. I was being paid maybe $5,000 a month. I was being paid maybe 400,000 naira a month. Oh, but you fail to understand that this question is directly related to your self-worth. What are you worth in the market? At what price is your competence worth? So it's not about you, it's not about maybe you were the personal assistant to the overall boss, it's not of that kind of stuff. Usually, the way this works in the corporate world is very, very simple. The corporate world has to do with positions, what you have on your plaque. So he's a senior marketing executive, or he's the chief inspections officer. This is your position in your previous company. And you might have studied in the university, you might have gotten your first degree, you might have gotten a master's degree, and that's what you've been working with. Or you might have been a, gotten your doctorate degree, and this is what you're working with. And you worked in a position and gotten promoted a couple of times in your previous company. That's good, that's good. And you might be applying for the same job in this new company, that's even better. Why? Now, if you want to get the optimum response to this question, it's very simple, it's not even hard. What you need to do is you take the amount of money you were being paid in your previous company, that is if you are applying for the same position in this new company, you take the amount of money you were being paid in your last company, you divide this amount by 30. Why 30? That's because in a standard month, there are 30 days. Oh, but I work for five days in a week. And if you multiply that by four, it's 20. Why don't I divide it by 20 days? Now, if you divide it by 20 days, the sum you're going to come up with is going to be bigger than if you divided it by 30 days. But you don't want to guess because what you're doing is you is trying error you're, you're trying to guess the sweet spot 
You don't want to land on the sweet spot. If not, it's going to appear like maybe you did too much research or maybe you had insider information. And you don't want to appear above the sweet spot. You just want to appear just beneath it, just below the sweet spot. That way it's going to be like, maybe this person is just a humble person. Did you get it? So you use 30, okay? You use 30. Say, for example, you were being paid maybe 300,000 naira. That naira is the Nigerian currency, okay? I'm Nigerian. Hello, Nigerians. Where are my Nigerian people today? Where are they today? Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So you're being paid 300,000 naira. You divide that by 30. So 300,000 naira, if you divide that by 30, that's gonna be, you're gonna get 10,000 naira. So that is going to be your salary expectation. That's going to be your net worth or your self-worth. Your net worth is for entrepreneurs, okay? No, not, not employees. So that's going to be your self-worth for that position. Now, what about if you're applying to a position that is higher, okay? Now, guys, I'm sorry. I'm, I did a calculation in Naira. It, that, no biggie. There's no big deal. You can... Do the same calculation if you're earning dollars, if you're earning pounds, if you're earning euros, it's the same, okay? What I'm giving you is the standard international formula for calculating salary expectation the world over. So what about if you're applying for a bigger position, a higher position than the one you had in the previous company? Maybe it's even the reason. Maybe this is the reason why you exited the last company and looking for a new challenge in a new company. Maybe they refuse to give you promotion and you've been stuck in the same place for a long time. Amen to that if that's your story, okay? So you're looking for a higher position and you're calculating fees. What, what am I going to do? How am I going to narrow down on the right salary expectation in a position that I've never worked in before? Okay, good question, okay? I'll, I'll, I'll answer this question. Now, at this point, what you need to do is what they call research. You need to research companies that compete with this company that you're looking to work for. You need to do your research. And if one of the best places to do such research is a website known as Glassdoor. Okay? And this is no, there's no athletes linked to Glassdoor. I'm not being paid for calling Glassdoor and stuff. I would have said go on LinkedIn, but you will hardly ever see companies post or review for companies on LinkedIn, but you could meet people on LinkedIn that might work for companies that compete with the company that you're looking to get into and you could chat them up. But maybe you don't want to chat people up. Maybe you just want to get down and dirty and get what you need. Go on glassdoor.com, type in, get the competitors of this company you want to work for. Chances are they, are they both abide to the same set of principles as regards to human resource and recruitment and all that kind of stuff. So go to Glassdoor and research the salary expectation for people in this bracket or people that hold down this position. Do the same thing I did for the last category of people, divide it by 30, and you're going to get the rough estimate for your salary expectation. It's very simple. And you'll be asking yourself, why didn't I do this before? That's because maybe you didn't have this information, but I'm sure you do now. So I hope this video was valuable to you. And guys, can you please leave me a comment in the comment section below and tell me where you're watching this video from? It's gonna help me a lot. I just wanna know where this message got to and the people that are watching me speak right now, okay? Okay, so if this video was valuable to you, why don't you think about going down and touch your wrist and hit and smashing the subscribe button, help us grow together, okay? And if you like the kind of content we drop, why don't you think about turning on the notification bell so when we drop new videos, you're notified and you can catch our content when they drop. And if you think this content was helpful to you in some way, shape, or form, why don't you think about giving us a thumbs up? It helps us a lot. It tells the YouTube algorithm that the kind of content we put out are helpful to people like you and that we inform us to make more such videos like this one, okay, for people like you. And if you want to get to meet Fuse or somehow, maybe you like the kind of stuff I put out, maybe you like the way I sound, or you want to ask me more questions about HR or about different things, maybe about business and stuff, why don't you think about following me on Instagram? My Instagram handle is just somewhere up there. It's simple at Fuse Chronicles. And I'll be delighted to answer all questions and answer all inquiries you post on my DMs, okay? And if you have friends and family members who 
uh, looking to get a new position or work, looking to get employed by a new company and are confused, they don't know what to do about the salary expectation, or maybe they've been asked this question before and they flunked their lines. Why don't you think about sharing this video? Share, share, I don't mind guys, share this video. Put the word out there so more people are gonna stay guided when they go out for their next interview, okay? And like I always say, it's your job to make yourself happy. It's your job, your job, your job to make yourself happy because happiness is a choice. It's not the position of your husband, your wife, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your brother, your sister to make you happy. It's your position to make yourself happy. So choose to be happy today, okay? And I'll see you all on the next one. I still remain your boy, Fuse on the Fuse Chronicles. Bye-bye for now.